Okay, Heidi, so I see that we have zhuzhed. They're looking amazing. We're styled up. And now we want to talk about placement. We've got them placed just so, and I wanted to know what you thought about how they're sitting in the showroom. Well, they look a little bit like a wall to me, so I would like to just add a little bit of texture mm -hmm. to create a little bit of visual interest. What do you mean by that? Can you show me physically yeah, what you Yeah, just a little mean? simple move would be to do something like so. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden you're creating a little bit of an overlap and mm -hmm. interest. So you've got kind of a depth of field that you're creating, mm -hmm. yeah. which is more interesting visually. All right, Heidi, so this is great. They look awesome. But what if I have three or more mannequins? Is there something different that I would do? Definitely. You want to cluster your mannequins and create some overlapping with your mannequins. So what you'll do is you'll just pull them together, creating a pyramid or an L form. Heidi, that was so interesting. Thank you for showing us how to place the full-size mannequins, but I did have another question about the half-size. When you have them on the table like this, is it is that okay to have it in a wall shape like this, or do you have any other thoughts? You can have it as a wall, but it's not a bad idea to not be afraid of featuring your logos or something else that you want to feature on a garment, like here, this logo here, or if you have a backpack, you can also show the backpack on the back of a mannequin versus having it on the back of a mannequin that you don't really see. Got it. Or take it to a tertiary position so that then again you have that high low going on. Gotcha. Yeah, then you have that visual variety again, that mm -hmm. depth of field. That's really interesting. This has all been so interesting. I really enjoy that you came here today. I feel like I learned a lot. I hope everybody else did too. To find out more about how to do visual displays, check out Sanmar U. Thanks for watching.